I don't know. What do you think? I think we just... I think that spot check. worked tonight, so I think maybe we should go back there. Yeah, I think we check the wind first to be sure. Yeah. As long as it's straight west, we're good. If not, then I think we got to just wing it and go the other spot. But as of right now, I'm thinking that same thing. Yeah. I mean, I know that those other beds are right there. Maybe overthinking it. Maybe we just go sit the same thing. I mean, if you had deer in range, that's better than what we have been doing. Right. second to last morning and Jake and I decided we're gonna go back to the same tree that Brody and I hunted yesterday. We know there's bucks at bed in that area. There's tons of hot sign in there. Uh, we just feel like it's worth trying to go back in there and hang in that same tree. And we feel like deer will probably be close by. So we're gonna sneak in there and hang these stands. And hopefully the wind stays consistent and coming from the south. The tree shaking over there. Just to the left of that cottonwood. Do you see it? It's definitely a buck, dude. It's shaking that tree. Oh yeah. It's a buck. I can see tines. Do you see him? Coming right towards us. Here he comes. You see him? <laughs> Jake, <laughs> dude, he's nice. <laughs> I'm so pumped, man. I'm so pumped, Jake. <sighs> I told you that would be a close shot, huh? <laughs> That's our second to last morning. <laughs> we knew this was the spot though, man. I'm shaking a little bit. <laughs> it's 
Dude, did you hear me about lose it when I saw him? Like I had to like really throughout there. I had to really calm down. It's what, eight thirty three right now. Probably shot him forty five seconds ago. Arrows right there, man. I looked up, I put my binos on him, and I said, Jake, it's a huge buck. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, you've been seeing spikes and stuff the last couple of days, that one looks like a giant, but man, that's exactly what we came here for, something like that. <laughs> that was our goal, it was a buck just like that. I couldn't be happier. It might be, might be one of my proudest bucks I've ever <laughs> shot, to be honest with you. Smoked him right there, he's down. He didn't run 30 yards. That's awesome. Coming to you. Definitely not the highest stand I've ever shot. Probably the lowest tree stand I've ever shot a buck out of. Missing one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was sweet. So I'm like, I'm gonna draw soon because he's like loops around here and he's right behind, you know, perfect, right behind that tree. <laughs> And I go to just about to like actually go through with it and he stops. I was like, oh no, he's gonna go back towards <laughs> no. that bed. You know, and in wind J hook theory, if he's going to that bed, he's gonna hook it that way with that wind. Well, I was like, that's what he's gonna do. We're gonna have to grunt. And at that point, like, is he gonna come back? So I started like, <laughs> my head's just panicking. You know, it all took probably 20 seconds. <laughs> and all of a sudden I could see his head coming through. And I drew it's like, Jake, you on him? Yeah, just wait. He would he stopped just i mean as perfect as it could be he jumped straight up and went down yeah he went down as you can see now that we're down in here the stuff's super tall and there's all these different habitat breaks right here it's the shortest it is in here like across the whole bedding area we were perched right up there in that stand that tree shot him like right here it rises up right here so you're even almost at eye level with these deer oh yeah that'll do her there huh look at that Right back there is the stand, and we're about 25, 30 yards from it. And right here is a bed. Been talking about it the whole time we've been hunting back here. This is their bedding area. I, I truly feel like these deer are milling around within this little pocket during daylight a lot more than they would out in fields or up in these sand hills. To catch a buck in daylight, you've got a lot better odds if you're right in the bedding area. It's obviously an aggressive sit, but if you're on a trip in a new spot or You've got a lot of different public land places to hunt in your area. Definitely key in on these areas and just keep bouncing around and keep the pressure low. You're not going to run these deer out completely. We've hunted this spot yesterday, morning and evening, this morning, and then a couple days ago we came through and wind bumped it. So deer are still here, but key in on these bedding areas. We're right on top of the beds. Blood all over through here. There's some right here. Right there. Man, I can't even see. I know he's right in here. There's some blood right here. There's a bed right here. <laughs> There's just beds everywhere. Blood. Blood. Right there he is. Right there he is. <laughs> Oh man, that is awesome. Holy cow. <laughs> that is awesome. I couldn't be more happy. <laughs> we hunted, yeah man, we hunted a long time for this guy. Holy cow. <laughs> Give me the good news. Well, we just got to him. 
Dude, <laughs> man, I'm so pumped. We came back in here this morning. We're like, you know, this is our best odd spot. Like there's bucks in here and this is a buck bedding area, no doubt. And we're right in it, you oh, know? Yeah. And I looked with my binos and I could see trees just shaking. And all of a sudden I saw it. Yeah, come out and I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> In yards, point blank, no, just kidding. smoked him, and oh, he's man. he's he's a I don't know he's at least a two or three year old buck. I mean he's that's so cool. Yeah, we're we're real fired up about it. I mean, I think Jake and I about <laughs> fell out of the tree stand. <laughs> we, I'm pumped. That's awesome. So like, was he in, is it plum thicket or what kind of cover is it? It's like or... yeah, it's like, yeah, it's basically willows and cottonwoods. So. And I see yeah. like a couple locusts and, and yeah. cattails. There's all kinds of these breaks. There's like a little pocket of cottonwoods. There's a little pocket of locust trees. Beds everywhere yeah. out here. Cause we've been seeing so many just like little dinker spikes and stuff and year and a half old bucks is like the majority of the bucks out here. And I see this dude coming through the grass and I was like, Jake, he's huge. <laughs> and then he, get, then he got in closer and like, I was like, yeah, he ain't huge, but he's still real nice. Like, well, now, like we were talking, we've been talking. He's like, next year, we won't have to blow up as much just going in and scouting stuff. You know, we know yeah. where the spots are for future, future years, and we understand the habitat better. We understand the movement this time of year. I mean, it was a great learning experience, and you know, to top it off, to capitalize on what we learned is just, just perfect. Yeah. All right, man. Well, congrats. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. I'm fired we're, up. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, we're we're totally pumped. So I'll send you some pics as soon as I as soon as I get some. All right, good deal. Tell everybody else congrats too. That's a team effort. Yeah, it is for sure. I will. Talk to you later. All right, see ya. <laughs> hey, Greg said congrats. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I'm so, like, <laughs> I'm so pumped. <laughs> Never thought I'd be punching a deer tag on September 20th. Have you ever shot one in September? No. We're back up on top of the hill. And right behind me is the bedding area where we shot this buck this morning. And Jake Brody and I couldn't be more excited about this buck. Just our goal coming in here was to learn as much as we could about this open country. I feel like for future years, we're gonna be able to come back and have a lot better grasp on how these deer uh, traverse through these sand hills and these marshes. It was a lot of fun trying to learn a different area. We definitely failed along the way. We had a couple close encounters with some really nice bucks, but I think our lack of experience just uh, helped us fail a few times. But some of the things that we did learn was that these deer feed up in these sand hills at night and they come back down into the marsh areas to bed. And one of the things that we did right off the bat was observed from a distance. We could see where these deer were coming off these sand hills from up to a mile or two away. And we would see them come back into their bedding areas and then we would make our moves based off of what we were seeing on our observation sits. After the first day, we realized that mornings were probably gonna be our best bet for deer movement. It seems like since the days get so hot around here, the deer just weren't moving quite as much in daylight in the evenings. One of the things that helped us out all week and what helped us out hunting this specific bedding area was going in and scouting. There were a number of different places where we found fresh rubs and when we did, we generally saw bucks. This spot is definitely one of those spots. We came in here a few days ago with the idea of wind bumping a spot real quick before we went out for an evening hunt. And I was blowing my scent with a south wind right into that bedding area and Jake and Brody were on the other side set up for a shot. We've wind bumped in the past, which is basically just letting our scent drift through a bedding area, alerting the deer enough to get them up out of their bed and hopefully slip out the back door. When I got to the far corner of this bedding area, I jumped a nice buck and he ran right over those hills that you can see behind me and Jake and Brody didn't see him. I think there's a chance that it was this specific buck, but once I jumped that deer, I went back and I looked at the bed, looked where he could see from there, I looked at a number of different beds in this area. I knew based off of the buck sign that I saw in this area that we needed to get back in here and hunt. And the only way we figured we could do it since it's so thick was to bring a stand in and get to a spot that was open enough for a shot. Really just couldn't see much in this bedding area, but right in front of us, we had enough of an opening for a shot. There was tons of beds in there. We shot this buck on the second to last day of our hunt and we reached our goal. We spent a lot of time as a group 
traveling around, looking at new areas. We would split up and one guy would scout and two guys would hunt. And I definitely couldn't have done this by myself. I think if, uh, if it was just one guy out here hunting, it would be a lot harder to, to get on some deer. We killed this buck as a team. I may have pulled the trigger, but <laughs> this buck is no doubt a team effort. 